book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Now, same context. God will scatter us amongst all people. How? On slave ships. Word. Slave ships, right? He will scatter us amongst all people. Read on. From one end of the earth, even unto another. Even unto another. Watch this. And there. And there. Remember, we were sold to our enemies. And there, what? Thou shalt serve other gods. Thou shalt serve other out. gods. Read on. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, uh, even yes, right. wood and stone. Right. Well, now, the same people that we were sold to taught us other gods. That's right. You see that? That's why the false image of Jesus was taught to us in slavery. Right. Right. The Bible describes Christ as a black man with woolly hair. Right. He was taught he's a Caucasian man with straight hair. Right. The Baptist, the Pentecostal, the Presbyterian, the Methodist, the Lutheran, so forth and so on. We were taught what? And they're what? And the Lord shall scatter thee amongst all people, and from one end of the earth, even unto the other. That's right. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Thou shalt serve other gods, come on. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Bring Indeed, wood and stone. That's we will serve right. a wooden image and a stone image. The wooden image is Christianity. That's, right. That's the image of the cross. That's we would serve that. We think it's a, it's a God. We think the cross is a holy image. That's not a holy image. That was a sign of capital punishment. Christ was not the only one that died on the cross. You had thousands of Jews that died on the cross. That was the form of capital punishment during the Roman Empire. They killed many people on that. You see what I'm saying? That's not a holy image. That's why we, it says we would serve wood and stone. Hey, let's get that X file. So now, knowing this history, why would we need saving from this stuff? Look at all the stuff we're going through. Guess what? This is the time we should be most calling on the most high. Bring it up. Right? Give me that. The book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said. So we talk about the 12 apostles here. They answered and said what? We ought to obey God rather than men. At the end of the day, if y'all didn't learn anything, learn that. What man says doesn't matter. We got to obey God. His word, what's in here, is what matters. Yeah, Your pastor right. tomorrow can tell you anything. He can say anything out of his own mouth. If it doesn't line up with these scriptures, it's a lie. Yeah, we just read right. multiple scriptures explaining John 3.16. Yeah. We just read multiple scriptures explaining our history and our heritage and who we are. You understand Bring that? Don't let nobody take that away from you. Bring the pastor said that. Read, watch this. The God... The God of our fathers, of our fathers, the God of our fathers, raised up Jesus, who ye slew and hang on a tree. Who ye slew and hung on a tree. He said, the God of our fathers raised up Jesus. So the subject is Jesus. Yes, the 12 right. disciples are talking about Jesus. Read. Yes, Him right. had God exhorted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. So Jesus was supposed to be a prince, that means a leader, and a savior, right now, for to give repentance, and to give repentance to, to Israel, everybody, yeah. to Israel. That That's was the right. purpose of Jesus, my sister. Bring it that was the purpose of Jesus coming on the earth? For who? For our sins. For our sins. Let's be saying real quick. The book of First John, chapter three and verse four. Right Whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. So we're getting an understanding of sin. Sin. Read. For sin is sin is. Man, we're about to get a definition of sin. Because most out. people can't give you a direct answer. Sin is the transgression of the law. The breaking of God's law. Yeah. So when God says thou shalt not, and you do it anyway, you're sinning. Yeah. When God says you shall, and you don't do it, we're sinning. Yeah. That is why God punished us. Sin. Sin. So we have to repent from that. There's a way out. 
Because Christ is coming to save. But remember, he said, whosoever out of Israel comes and believes in Christ. That's Meaning they change right. their ways. They stop sinning. Bro. That's who he's saving. Everybody else, just like the fiery serpents, you're going to die. Bro. Bro. Whether you Israel or not. So we got to keep God's commandments. That's how we get salvation. That's how we get out of here. Read. The book of Church Kings, chapter 8 and verse 46. If they sin against thee. Hey, my sister, you got a fire? Yes, I got one. Okay, okay. Hey, just be careful. There's a lot of traffic out here. All right, all praises. So now, if we sin against him, meaning we break his commandments. This is a prayer of King Solomon, another black man. It's in the Bible. King Solomon had for his people. He prayed to the Most High. If we sin against you, God, read. For there is no man that sinneth not. But we all broke God's commandments. Read. And thou be angry with them. Hey, don't this look like God was angry with us? Look. That looks like anger on us all across his back. Read. Read. I read. And deliver them to the enemy. Yeah, that word again. And deliver us. To the enemy. How did he deliver us? Cargo slave ships. He delivered us to the enemy. Read. So that they carried them away captives unto the land of the enemy. We got carried away on slave ships to the land of the enemy. That happened. The whole Bible is our history. Read. Far or near. America is far from where we're from. Read. Yet. If they shall be think themselves. But God, if your people remember who they are in these last days, that's what we were showing you. You are these 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. You are God's chosen people. We are the Israelites. We remember who we are. We remember our God. We remember our Savior. Read. In the land where the they were carried captives. That's what America's for. America is a punishment. Yes, this is not the land of opportunity for us. It's a punishment yeah. for our people. How, and that's all I've experienced since I've grown up here. That's all our people experienced since we've been here. It's heartache, pain, and trauma. Right, yeah. That's what this place is. This is a big time out. Yes, that's what America is. But God said if you during this punishment, you, sis, you remember who you are. And what else? And repent. And repent. Repent. Run. Turn back to the laws of God that we broke. That's Stop right. sinning. It's time to come back to his laws. That's Read. Right. And make supplication unto thee in the land of the of that carried them captive, saying, We have sinned. This is called prayer. Repentance. Prayer. We have sinned. God, we have sinned against you. We've broken your laws. Read. Run. And have done perversely, we have committed wickedness, uh -huh. and so returned unto thee with all your heart and with all your soul. That's what we got to do. We got to return to the Lord's laws with all our heart and all our soul. Right. 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 Read. And with all thy soul in the land of their enemies. It keeps saying that. It keeps saying that because God's trying to drill it in our heads. Right. This is the land of your enemy. Right. You know what? Because our people get comfortable here in America. Right. Everything's right, right at the hand. You get your fast food. You get your fast living. You get your women. You can get your drugs. You can do whatever you want here in America. It's part of the city in America. This stuff is killing us. It's killing us. It's separating us from our God. Read. Which led them away captive uh -huh. and pray unto thee toward their land. So we pray toward Jerusalem after we find out who we are and we decide to repent. What happens? Which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, uh -huh. and the house which I have built for thy name. Then hear thou their prayer. Then God's going to hear our prayers. He wasn't dealing with it. Like, I'm going to tell y'all right now, the Lord... Yo, we weren't even praying to the right God, sis. Yes, you weren't even praying to the right God, sis. Yes, this whole time. Yes, so God hasn't been hear hearing you. Yes, but he loves you so much, he sent his messages out here to point you in the right direction. Yes, so he can start hearing your prayers, sis. Yes, but now it's on us. Are we going to repent? Are we Because you want to be heard by God, right? Yes. You want to be heard by God, right? Yes. God just said, you're the greatest people on the face of the earth. I love you. Yes, yes, why would we just uh, uh, ignore that and continue to live? I don't got no better word for it. Continue to live as niggas 
Bring it out. Out here in America. Right. Look how we live. It's garbage. It this out. place is garbage. Right. Why would we continue here when it's better for us? Yeah. We have a God that no one else has. Yeah. So it's time to repent and come back. So we're going to deal with some of those sins that we got into. Now, uh, the captain brought out uh, that we, we would come here and serve other gods, even wood and stone. Yeah. What was the wood, sis? Yeah. What was the wood, my sister? The wood that we had that we served. He said we we come and serve other gods, wood and stone. What are the two main religions our people are in? Christianity, that's the wooden cross, right? Stone, Islam. That's the two main religions our people are in. Man-made religions. It, all these were made by our oppressors. What 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 religion are you, sis? Yes, sir. What religion are you, sis? Say, huh? Isakis. 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 Oh, the That's a new one. That's a new one. But I guarantee you, our people didn't make that. No, they didn't. Isocracy. Isocracy. All right, look. Baptist, John Smith. Mormon, Joseph Smith. Seven Day Adventist, Ellen G. White. Bring it out. Jehovah's Witness, Charles C. Russell. Bring it out. Charles Pram, Pentecostal. 1901, we were getting dogged out, treated like slaves. Bring it 1872, we were slaves. 1863, we were slaves. 1830, we were slaves. 1608, we were fresh slaves. You see that? Well, all these religions were formed there. And guess what? All those branch off religions, even the hypocrisy, all in, in, when it, in some of them, non denomination, all that comes from these. But the same doctrine, the same white Jesus, That's the right. same things they enslaved us with. You want to be a slave your whole life, my brother? No. Who wants to do that? Sis, you don't want to be a slave for the rest of your life. It's time to break free. The change is coming. They loosen up you slip out now. But you got to take them off. Yes, boy. You gotta take them off. So now we're gonna deal with something. That was something, the Christian cross, which has Caesar Borgia, the worst thing that ever happened to our people on it, posing as Jesus. Right? Watch this. Watch what God says about that thing, sis. Read. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 18. Read it out. What profit if the graven image that the maker thereof have graven it? God gives a rhetorical question. What is the profit? of a graven image. That's a graven image, right, sis? Guess what? We can have chains and necklaces with things on it, but what makes it a graven image is when we start to apply it to faith. We start to worship it. We believe in it. That it has some type of spiritual connection. And that's how we feel about the Christian cross, right? Therefore, it's a graven image. Read. The molten image and a teacher of lies. What is it? A teacher of lies. Jesus on that cross. Is Jesus on that cross? Bring it out. Who's on that cross? The image of the beast. Caesar Borgia. That's who's on that cross, sis. Even if he wasn't on it, that was the murder instrument yeah. of our Lord and Savior. That's right. If you had a son that went to the electric chair or he got shot to death out here in the streets, would you wear a nine millimeter bullet Bring on your out. chain? And say this represents my son. Bring it up. I love so no. Bring it up. Bring it Since up. That's a teacher of lies. Bring it up. Read. That the maker of his work shuts up therein to make dumb idols. It's an idol, yeah. sis. Yeah. Right, right. It's an idol. Look. That's idolatry, sis. Look. That's idolatry. So in our repentance, we gotta repent from those things. That's a stronghold in Christianity. Yeah. Now, yeah. give me that. We got some more? Read that. Verse 19. Woe unto him that saith to the wood, awake, to the dumb stone, arise. That trusted in these inanimate objects that they give them connection to God. It says destruction unto that person, sis. So what do we have to do in our repentance? Should you be wearing that cross? You should take it off. You can keep it right now. Nice chain. But that piece right there, that's the devil on your neck, sis. That's the devil on your neck. Give me that mistress cloth. All right, read a little bit more. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and, and there is no breath at all in the midst of it. There's no life, there's no understanding that has nothing to do with God, sis. Yes, uh, uh, Isaiah 30, 22. Yeah. Give me that real quick. There's no breath of life in it, sis. So I'm going to give you a commandment now that God told us to do, because we already know that one of the Ten Commandments is not to have any other God before me, not to worship any graven images. And you got one on your neck. 
So would that put you in the midst of sin or in, in righteousness? What are, you, what are you in the midst of right now with that on your name? So repenting would be changing that. Read. Watch how you change it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 22. This you is for you too, my brother. You got any Jesus pieces at home? This is yeah. what you got to do with it. Read. Ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images. Now, see, he's supposed to defile that thing, destroy that thing. Read. Of silver and the ornament of the, the molten images of gold. Uh -huh. Thou shalt cast them away as a mistress cloth. Hey. Mistress cloth. That's talking about like a tampon. Mistress like. Would you wear a tampon on your neck, a used tampon? Would you wear a used tampon on your neck, sis? God says you got to throw that thing away like a tampon. So that's what Pickens is. It's to take that chain off, keep the chain, and throw that cross somewhere away. That, this is your opportunity. This your, that's what I'm talking about, sis. This is your opportunity, sis. We keep reading it. Thou shalt say unto it, it. get oh, thee hit. You gonna say unto that thing, get the hits, cause you've been teach. Let it, let it stay where it lays, sis. That's good right there. You keep the chain. Bring it out. It's a beautiful chain. You can keep that chain, sis. Let that stay where it lay, cause it's been teaching you lies. That's that's right. Right. It's a tool to keep us in lies this whole time, sis. That's and that's a good right. step, a first strong step in breaking free from that. Bring it you know out. what I'm saying? And that's what we're about. That's what these laws are about. That's why God's sending us out here, sis. These, that's a small step. We Bring take it out. Step. Guess what? Now, guess what, sis? You just taking a step toward God. Right now. God's like, all right, my sister just showed me a little something that she wants to change. That's yeah, right. She's serious about change. That's, right. that's repentance, my sister. That's when right. we turn back, that's a wonderful, yeah, clap it up, my sister. That's a wonderful that's thing, my sister. That's a wonderful thing. Leave that there. Don't ever put another cross on, because now you no. know what it stands for. Right. That was the destruction of our people. <laughs>